guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl ako event aka ak news in the building oh my god guys in today's video we are going to be talking about university of the people okay so i'm normally going to make a video telling about the updates about university of the people or uh, telling you about the um next term beginning of next term what will happen next term and also it but in this video i want to focus on the courses okay the courses you should you should actually put your mind on if you want to apply for associate degree as soon as possible like let's say for instance you're doing you apply to do bachelor's degree right but you want that after some time you want to first get your associate degree you can apply for your associate degree have the certificate you can actually use it to look for a job while completing with your bsc all right remember that if there are the courses are 40 for bachelor's degree and 20 for associate degree at the university of the people all right but now you need to complete create a credit of 120 so you need to complete 120 credits before graduating and and 60 that's for bsc and 60 for associate degree but now if you really want to like after some time you want to first of all apply for your associate degree you need there are some courses you need to focus on so courses you need to do first that has to do with associate degree so you don't need to just get in and start doing any course any course any course any course at the end of the day you will not be able to apply for that associate degree all right so First thing first, you need to consider these courses so that as you are taking your courses, you are signing your courses, you should actually be going in for these courses that has to do with associate degree first. So that at the end of the day, when you complete it, you can actually apply for your associate degree and then you get your certificate while completing your BSc. Alright, so I have the courses here. I, If you are a student at University of the People, I don't need to explain all this any further. All I need to do is just state out the courses and I believe that you are aware of the courses, you know the courses. Uh, anyway, I want to say good luck to everyone. I know the exam has come to an end. We have written our term 4 exam already. So I wish everybody the best. I wish myself the best and I really don't know how my own exam will look like. I don't know how my grades would look like. Given that I was being given a zero in some of my assignments because of plagiarism and also I was being won by my instructor so I really don't know what is going to happen to my own results but be sure that I'm going to update you I'm going to tell you everything so that you can actually learn and do not make the same mistake I made now it's not like I wasn't aware of plagiarism it's just because of one reason or the other I did not reference it like they always say at the University of the, the People that plagiarism is a serious offense. Some people did not believe. I did believe. But at the end of the day, I have seen that it's as serious. It's more than what I thought it was. All right. So because I did not reference some of my work. And so I, it was considered as plagiarism. And so they just gave me a zero in some of not just one assignment because i did a complete i did the assignment i did for that week so you can imagine how it's going to affect my final grade we all know that the assignment are you people are very very important they are part of our final grade so if i'm actually having a zero in about two or three assignment in that's a weekly assignment because that was that was for that week that was for that week and guys it's because of tiredness i came back from work and you know how cameroon is there was no light and i was struggling to make sure i meet up i did not have time to really go through it and, and get into because i usually, usually use my plagiarism checker to check my work but i i did not have the time to do that because i was afraid they were going to the pop because of power failure i had to just struggle and do this assignment submit it rush and do this one submit it rush and guess what guys when i just finished submitting they took the light so guys guys that's why i'm not feeling that bad because i didn't do it intentionally and i wasn't in I wasn't ignorant about it either but it was because of condition it was because of circumstances and I can't be explaining that to the school they wouldn't listen but I know it's it's it wasn't easy it wasn't easy on my part those that live in Cameroon will understand will understand this better like I came out from work I was so tired power failure this network 
I mean, guys, guys, it wasn't easy. But at the end of the day, I've learned something and I'm promising you that I'll be coming back here to give you all the updates. So all you need to do is subscribe to my channel so that each time I upload beautiful videos about this, you're going to watch. Now, guys, I don't want to waste your time. So let's get straight into the courses I am talking about. So now, these are the courses that has to do with associate degree. And when you complete these courses, it's actually 60 credit, okay? So... We have the courses, we have UNIF 1001, we all know you have, to, that's the first course that you people you do when you're just newly admitted into the school, right? So we have UNIF 1001, which is online education strategies. We have English 1102, that's English Composition 2, and it's actually a proctor course. We have... Uh, all of these are, th are three three credits, right? They are they have three three credits So I don't need to be mentioning the credits again because they have the three, three credits If you're able to complete these courses, I'm calling just be sure that you have, you have completed your 60 uh, Credits and your, your total 60 credit for the total program for the program So you can be able to apply for your associate degree while pursuing your bachelor's or uh, bachelor's <laughs> bachelor's <laughs> while pursuing your BSc Okay, so we have English 1102, we have BOSS 1102, this BOSS 1101, sorry, we have BOSS 1101, which is Principles of Business Management. Now, these are courses for business administration students, all right, these are courses for business administration students. We also have courses for computer science, we also have courses for uh, uh, education, um, health science, yeah, so... Yeah, but what I'm talking about here, I'm talking about a business administration courses. For those that want to apply for their associate degree, you have to be best assured that you have completed these courses. I'm me, I'm, I'm mentioning here because the other courses now go for the BSc. So if you want to get your associate degree, you have to first of all focus on these courses because if you don't have these courses, if you leave these courses and you go ahead, you're doing other courses. Know that you can't apply for your associate degree. So I will advise you to each time you want to register for a course, go for the course that falls within the associate degree. So that when you complete it, you can actually, even if you apply for BSc, you if you complete this course that has to do with associate degree, you can actually apply for it, for the certificate while pursuing the PSC, so doing the other courses. So we have BOSS 1101 Principles of Business Management. We have BOSS 1102 Basic Accounting. We have BOSS 1103 Microeconomics. We have BOSS 1104 Macroeconomics. We have BOSS 1104 yeah, Macroeconomics. We have MAT 1201, that's College Algebra, which is actually a proctor course. We have uh, HIST. HIST for 1421 which is greek and roman civilization and then we now have you you now have to do two electives here all right that's for the first year it can be for the first year you now have to do two electives so in the total program of associate degree you have four electives all right so now we have mentioned two electives so if you complete that with two electives you have a total uh, credit of 30. now we go to the next Next, you have BOSS 22001. We have that's principle of marketing, which is a proctor course. We have BOSS 2202 e commerce, which is a proctor course. We have BOSS 2203 principles of finance. We have BOSS 2204 personal finance. We have BOSS 2207 multinational management. We have BOSS 1105, which is business communications. We have MAT 121280, which is introduction to statistics, and it's actually a proctor course. Oh my god. Gee. Sorry, guys. Okay, we have BOSS 11005, Business Communications, which is a, uh, yeah. Uh, we have MAT 121280, which is Introduction to Statistics, which is actually a proctor course. We have MAT, oh, uh, yeah. We have FIU 1404, which is Ethics and Social Responsibilities. And then from there, you have two electives to do. So, a total of four electives you need to do in your associate degree level four electives so now it simply means you have to get into other departments and get you can actually get into other departments and get other courses 
to add up to do this fall to add up to this you've done you can go to computer science you can go to health science you can go to education you get uh, courses there yeah computer science health science you get courses there to four courses there to do to add up to this or uh, other courses to add up to this uh, or other courses so that these 20 courses so it's actually 16 courses so you're getting four electives adding to it so that it should be 20 if you do this you are going to have a total a program credit of 60 and you are good to go you when you're done with this courses i just mentioned here you're good to go you can actually apply for your associate degree while waiting for or pursuing your bsc all right so that is just it yeah so that is it that is what i want to inform you all right guys so any other course any other courses you can actually do that in the bsc level but what i mentioned here is for the associate degree you must have these courses before you apply so if you really want to apply it that and you need to focus now on courses that has to do with associate degree you don't need to skip and one and, and like you're doing courses that are not within this i just mentioned all right so that is just it guys thank you so much for watching i'm going to upload a video or a video talking about next term at university of the people that's term five so we done writing our exams for term four and i wish each and every one of us good luck thank you so so much guys for watching my videos please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below because we have a lot of interesting videos coming up thank you so much like the video comments and also share the videos to as many people as possible thank you so much guys and please to have a blessed day